Okay, 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 okay. What's that? He just kept saying, you know, she's the girl, he's the boy, and she's the happy twin, and he's the sad twin. I did this checklist, and I started going through, and I was like, shit. No, he doesn't do that. No, he doesn't do that. It says this letter is to confirm that the patient listed above has met the diagnostic criteria for autism spectrum disorder. The symptom score is high and severe. If you have a two-year-old or a three-year-old that's not talking, worst thing that you can do is to do nothing. You've got to put the hours into them. Can we say something? If he doesn't develop the first words, then nothing else really happens after that. It's really hard to push, you know? I think we came into this thinking we were ahead of the game and we knew some stuff and I think we've had to rethink everything. We don't know where we're going. We don't really know if we got even the right road back, so. He's trying to ground himself so he feels his presence in the world, basically. As kids, we play with the sensory distortions. You know, maybe when Picasso did his art, maybe he's got some of those problems. That's why he did those broken up kind of art. Woo! <laughs> why should we force somebody so far out of their comfort zone that they're not them anymore. We do have a difference of opinion, I think. We still on do, that. I think. On that acceptance, though. Mm -hmm. If we're not accepting to the diversity that is human beings, then we're not going to get any farther. Well, I'm not done fighting to get them to speak.